What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. Oh, ain't you a bucket of sunshine? You? And just how do you intend to do that? <laughs> the Offworlder wants to make a donation. Kill him and take everything. that the game is being a little glitchy right now, but there's really not much I can do about it. Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting them. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps not. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Come back when you're ready. Better yet, call the whole thing off. Palace politics can get you killed these days. Alright, the reason why I saved is I am aware that there's a situation brewing on the other side, and I'm going to see if I can't deal with that. I don't know if I'll be able to. Stay out of trouble. I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, 
Let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. Don't do this. Sacrifices are inevitable, but it is the price of change. The time of patience is over. Let's show them our resolve with force. He's, He's right. right! Get out of here! Kill, kill, kill the royalists! They're arming. We need backup. You, we could use your assistance. Try to disable them. If the mob grows, many more will die. Thank you, Offworlder. We may have to hold them off alone until backup arrives. Let's just hope we can contain this before it gets out of hand. Kill the royalists! Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? I won't be able to get a hold of my contacts from the palace without it. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter? Best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Baklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. <laughs> I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an exploit. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of him. I won't let Kavar escape. We must prevent the civilians here from coming to harm by our battle.
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. Yeah, I'm pretty positive. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, back who can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. Yeah, I think it's time for us to make our exit. You know what to do. Let's do it! Seriously? The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? seems to follow you, off-worlder. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. Yeah, that's kind of the point. point is for us to get the hell out of here. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. <laughs>
back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. Works for me. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Alright, well I'm guessing I missed the guard. That could... have saved us a few minutes walking. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me. <laughs> 